Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. This is the Sculpey baking clay that we used on, I think it was Wednesday. And it's very thin, so when I took it out of the oven, I let it cool. But then as I was like, you know, getting everything together to bring it to my uh, art space, the foot fell off. <laughs> But that's okay. I'm just gonna glue it to this piece of cardboard, and I'm gonna I'm gonna cut around it so you can't tell that it was broken, <laughs> and it'll be okay. But I figured I would go ahead and just paint it that way. I could still move it around. I made a bunch of eggs with the excess sculpey that I had after I had made the rooster. So I'm just painting these white, and I'm putting a thick, th nice thick coat on. Well, first thin coat that way I can dry and get, you know, decent coverage, and then I'm gonna come back and do a second layer, and it's gonna be a thick layer, and hopefully the paint doesn't crack, but it'll leave a really cool stripey texture across the eggs. So I keep working in layers because acrylic paint is pretty thin sometimes, so it's not as opaque as you might want it to be, and it's best to work in thin layers and just keep adding layers because it'll dry so much quicker that way. So if you're making something similar to this, uh, go ahead. you can go ahead and put little holes in the tops so that you can dangle your little dangly bits. I did not want to put holes in mine because A, they probably would have filled up with paint, and B, I wanted to have them hanging like more securely. I didn't want the, the chance of them breaking off. So I plan on putting like a felt or cardboard or something, gluing that onto the back of each of the items. That way I can just wind up some string between the two layers and it'll be very secure. I still had some extra even after making eggs, so I'm making my sister a little jewelry set. Her little kitty just died a couple weeks ago, so I'm making her a little rememberal thing. On the back of the cat head, I'm gonna write Priscilla's name. Her name was Priscilla Sassy Paws because she was the sassiest of the purrs. I don't remember exactly how old she was, but she was pretty old, so it was it was about time. So back to the chicken, well the rooster I should say. Uh, the eggs are white, so I'm making the rooster red because roosters have a lot of red features compared to just regular chickens like laying hens. So made a bright red rooster and it's gonna have little eggs hanging from it even though I know roosters don't lay eggs but those are the only things that I can think of that relate to chickens so that's what I made. Nick and I were painting yesterday and I made this. <laughs> I may or may not hang it up on the coop somewhere. <laughs> Haven't decided yet. It doesn't really go with the theme that I'm trying to go with the coop itself is like a light brown wood, and uh, I'm trying to make it so that accents are white, black, and red. I really like those colors together. It's kind of barnish, too. You know, like a red barn, and I love black and white. I think those colors all look really good together, so that's the theme I'm going for for my coop, which is also why these things are painted this color, these colors. Also, my cat, when I got up, stole my seat again. <laughs> He keeps doing this. I even switched the seats because he liked sitting in the other one, but now he likes sitting in this one. Maybe it just smells like my butt, and maybe he just likes how that smells. <laughs> so he's just helping me do my art every day now. Look at that good little boy. He's so good. He doesn't even come up onto my- well, he went up on my desk once, but he doesn't go up there usually and that's good because I usually leave things drying up there. <laughs> Don't forget to share your work with Samless Creations on social media. I hope you guys are having a great day and happy crafting. This looks like a freaking chicken crime scene right here. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> 